Hey YouTube, just want to make a quick video trying to help some people out about what to do to make a battery backup system for your existing sump pump. As you can see with my install, the way they chose to install this, it would be almost impossible to add a secondary pump to this because for some reason these clowns decided to run it through the concrete and up the wall. So, after watching a bunch of videos and not coming up with anything, this is what I came up with. This, see if you can see it. Sorry about this, guys. I'm not a YouTuber, so I'm not good at this. This is a ProWatt SW. This is an automatic switch that will automatically switch from AC to battery power whenever it cuts off. This is is a standard Jupiter 2000 watt inverter. And this is a Harbor Freight battery charger. Both of these from Harbor Freight. And this is my cheap Walmart Marine battery. So basically, the way this works is if you cut, if the power goes off, the sump pump will automatically be powered by the marine battery from the inverter for for right now I've only tested it for about two to three hours now let me be clear I don't have all this screwed down and everything like I'm supposed to yet this is still a test in progress I've seen stuff on YouTube that you can get that cost seven hundred dollars for one sump pump this switch you can get on Amazon for 50 bucks. The inverter cost me about 129 and the charger I think was about 20 something dollars. If of course you have one of those fabulous 20% off Harbor Freight coupons, you can do even less. So all of the components to make this work are going to cost you less than $200. I'm not going to include the price of the battery because any of these systems you get, you're going to be buying a battery anyway. It seems to work well. It gives me, like I said, I did a test for about two hours and it worked just fine. The only critique I would have is in the very beginning, spend the extra money on a better battery charger. This battery charger, I think, is only like a 1.5 amp, so if you do end up using it, it takes forever to charge the battery back up. Now, I want to be clear and put a little footnote in. My idea of success for this was four hours, because I'm figuring, hey, if I can get this thing to work four hours, and I can turn around and add one more battery and get eight hours, that'll either get me through the night or it'll get me through a full day of work before I can come home and plug this thing into the generator to get it to continue to work. So hopefully this helps you out, guys, because I've seen some stuff online and they want $700 for a unit and I'm getting out at about $200 and then they only want to give you a two-year warranty on the unit. The other thing is I like the fact that my components are separate because if one thing goes bad, I don't have to scrap the entire unit. If you get one of these all in one and feel free to, if you got money to burn like that, if one component goes bad, the whole thing is basically junk. So just let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear if you guys came up with a different solution to it. All right, thanks.